I'm so nervous. Today is June 30th, 2021, and I am on my 14-day post-transfer, and um, I am making this video to update our extended family and friends on where we're at on our IVF journey. We had our first embryo transfer last June 16th, so two weeks ago. It went easy and very smooth. After that, I was placed on what they call um, Princess Days for two days. So basically, I was just on bed for two days and um, resting, watching shows, movies. And then on my third day, I was given an okay by my doctor that I can go back on my normal daily activities. Symptoms wise, on um, first two days, I did not have any cramping or any unusual feeling but I started having mild ones on my day three. I also developed fever that lasted for two days um, ranging from 100.8 to 102.2. We got so worried about that because on the day of our transfer I was told to watch out for my body temperature um, to make sure that it is within the normal range. But um, we spoke to our team and we were able to manage my fever. So that was all the symptoms I had on my first three days. I did not feel anything unusual except on the very, very mild cramping and uh, two-day fever. But it went away, so I was okay. <laughs> then um, Father's Day came for the post-transfer. And I really wanted to surprise Ben with a positive pregnancy test along with my other Father's Day gifts for him. So um, even though I was only 4 DP that day, I took a risk of testing. That night, I went crazy and I tested twice while Ram was at work. The first test I had was um, just a regular pregnancy test where you can see two lines. And then um, the second one was the jitter digital one where you can see the word pregnant or not pregnant. On my first pregnancy test, um, just a regular pregnancy test, I had a very uh, faint line and I took it night time so I'm not sure how concentrated my urine was at the time. And oh, by the way, this time uh, we did not have any trigger shots so if there was a line, it is not caused by any trigger shots. So, um, I saw a very faint line and I was like, is this real? I took another pregnancy test, but this time it was a digital one um, where it would show you the word pregnant or not pregnant if you are not. But I did not know that the digital pregnancy test takes about um, three minutes to show up the results if you are pregnant or not. I was like a crazy woman in the bathroom waiting for the results like, come on. <laughs> so it was probably the longest three minutes of my life. Then a um, few minutes after, uh, three minutes after, it came back positive. Today is June 21st, 2021, and um, it is 10.49 at night. Um, actually, today is my day five post-transfer day of our um, five-day frozen embryo. And um, usually, uh, some people test themselves on day five, so I'm going to give it a try on this clear blue digital and we'll see so yesterday i tested but it was very very pale so i'm just waiting for it i don't know how long will it take but wow it actually takes time hmm Oh. 
here it is pregnant <gasps> ah! <laughs> I can't wait to put it on um, my additional gift um, for Grant for Father's Day I'm gonna put this inside and hopefully when uh, he gets home tonight I'll see his first when he opens that box Did it! Excited. I got so very, very excited and uh, this overwhelming feeling of happiness. I actually don't remember what reaction I had and what I did on the first minute after I saw the results. As soon as I was back to myself, I was like, was it real? Did I actually see a word pregnant? So. I look back on the uh, digital pregnancy test to make sure that it says pregnant and it still says pregnant so I for so after that I started crying and I don't know how to explain uh, the extent of my excitement and the extent of my happiness that time so I don't know I don't know how to explain it if there is only a word to describe that feeling I would but I don't know I don't know how to explain it I waited for him for about four hours and it was the longest four hours I waited for him to come home he came home around 2 in the morning and I was in here pretending to be sleeping of course and I heard him open the box and a few minutes after he came in and we hugged each other we both cried started crying this room was filled with so much joy happiness um, excitement and all the positive feelings you could think of the next day Grant and I were so excited to share the good news to our immediate family so we shared it to them and they were so happy and excited about the good news fast forward um, we waited for another five days for a blood test to confirm my beta um, my HCG levels and my progesterone level so my HCG numbers came back amazing it was 157 but my progesterone was a little bit low it was at a range of 14 their goal was at least above 20 so what they did was they increased my progesterone in oil to uh, 1.5 mL, but my suppository stayed the same. Between 5 dB to 12 dB, I keep having these uh, painful cramps that would last 10, uh, 15 seconds and a few times a day. So I requested an early second beta. On my um, 13 dP, which was yesterday, um, my second beta came back amazing. Um, it came back 968, so that was more than double. But um, my uh, progesterone went down to um, 11.9. So again, they increased my PIO to 2 mil and then my suppository to twice a day. Grant and I got so worried with our progesterone numbers. So we asked our nurses and they seem not very concerned about it since uh, my HCG is amazing. So they said, we'll just continue to watch on those progesterone levels. They just told us to relax, um, take your progesterone injections, and we'll continue to monitor you in the next couple of weeks. So um, with that assurance, I mean reassurance, um, we feel better. That is very important for couple who are going through IVF. Pregnancy symptoms wise, I do not feel anything unusual yet um, uh, except on that on and off cramping uh, that would last 10-15 seconds three times a day but I do not have nausea, um, breast tenderness, pelvic pain or back pain and so on and so forth. So. I'm basically like a normal person that is not pregnant, 
which I'm glad because I don't have I do not have to deal with all the awful symptoms of being pregnant. The next steps would be just waiting for that uh, blood test for my progesterone level, and then two weeks after that, um, I would probably have our first ultrasound, uh, which Gran and I are excited about. That's all for now. Grant is not here. He is currently at work because this week is his on week. But we both want to extend our gratitude towards our families and our friends who genuinely cares and prays for us continuously. I hope you know that we appreciate each of you and that we feel very blessed every day having you in our life. Thank you so much for your love, for your continuous support, for rooting on us, and uh, for your care, and uh, for throwing good vibes our way. Thank you, thank you so much. And we will keep you posted on the next big step.